How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm showing you a basic tutorial on how to install ExpressVPN and how to just use it. I'll explain a little bit about the uh, features that ExpressVPN has. And of course, it's going to be a pretty short video because ExpressVPN makes it as simple as possible to use. And there really isn't much to be talking about besides a couple of features. And I'll get to those in just a second. Before we begin, if you guys are interested in ExpressVPN, you'll find a link in the description down below. I'll give you a little bit of an extra discount. Also, a full review if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security features of ExpressVPN. Now, all you need to do, first of all, to download ExpressVPN is go to the website itself. Now, obviously, if you're on desktop, go to the website, download it, you're good to go. But if you're on Android or iOS, Again, go to either the Apple Store or Play Store, Google Play Store, and just look up ExpressVPN and just download it from there. Now, when it comes to downloading it from the desktop, uh, you simply want to go to expressvpn.com. Uh, first of all, you want to get started and get yourself the subscription. And from there, once you subscribe to it, you'll get an email and you can get the download link from there or before you even uh, get your subscription or pay for it, you can simply go to products right here. And let's say you're downloading it on Windows or Mac or whatever device you're using it on. Let's just say Windows for the sake of the example. Click and there you go. You have your download uh, application right here, the download link. And once you download it, you'll get a little folder that shows up here and it downloads. And as you uh, once it's downloaded, once you're done, uh, you can just click it and download the application. It'll ask you for your credentials or your code. Uh, it'll send you a code if you already got a subscription and you can just put in that code and you're good to go. So it's as simple as it gets with regards to downloading ExpressVPN. Now, how to use ExpressVPN? It's very simple. It's as simple as just turning on the button right here. Just click the button and that's it. That's how you use ExpressVPN. Now, but just give you a little bit of an explanation of how ExpressVPN works and what it's about. Well, it's very simple. First of all, you have over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, which is a huge number, way over the average. And 3,000 servers is also a decent amount. So yeah, plenty of servers in countries, okay? So this is a little time saver. And in the options here, you have, well, very simple features. The only thing that you want to look out for is just the general and protocols tab. It's as simple as that. So you have some startup options here, which you can just turn uh, toggle on and off depending on your uh, preference. And you have the network lock and split tunneling. The network lock, which is also known as the kill switch, will cut your internet access if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. In the unlikely event, rather, that the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. But if it does, this will prevent any leaks from getting out of your device, especially if you're in a censorship-heavy country. And speaking of censorship-heavy countries, the proprietary obfuscation of ExpressVPN is always on by default, so it's a plug-and-play VPN no matter where you are. Very easy to use, no configuration needed. Split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So let's say you want a specific application to use the VPN, leaving the rest of your connection outside the VPN tunnel. You can definitely do that. So for example, Google Chrome and my uh, torrenting client or any other application you can add here. So you can do that or vice versa, where you can have specific applications bypass the VPN tunnel while the rest of your connection goes through the VPN tunnel. So this is a very useful feature, especially for you guys that you know want to pick which applications use the VPN and which don't, especially if you have a banking application and you don't want it to be affected by the VPN. This can be very useful. Now, protocols here, handful of protocols. You can set it on automatic and this will work 100% of the time. I choose lightweight UDP because it is usually the fastest uh, protocol, so I just like to stick to that. Shortcuts right here, you can add uh, shortcuts. So once you turn on the VPN, the shortcuts will show up right here. So let's say I want a shortcut. It could be an application or website shortcut. So let's just say netflix.com. 
and netflix.com will show up right here once i connect my vpn you can use this tab right here to download the browser extensions and in advance you have nothing to worry about keep these on at all times and unless you want to not share your crash reports, which will help uh, ExpressVPN uh, better their service, you can opt out of it if you'd like, though. So I'd rather just keep it on in case they need it to help me out with something uh, so that they can have some diagnostics here and there. So that's pretty much it. Once you have all of that kind of uh, picked and understood, go to locations and pick one of these. Let's just go to recommend. I'm going to go to recommend it connect to let's say the Paris server because I'm near the European region I'm definitely going to get faster speeds than uh, connecting to any further servers so that's pretty much it this is, it really is as simple as that and if you want to double check that you are connected to that server notice the uh, Netflix showed up right here so you can uh, assign all of these um, shortcuts right here as you would like and uh, I can go to what is my IP address finder oh, what is my IP address there we go and this is how I can double check that uh, I am indeed connected to the French server and it should show up as if I am in France and that's pretty much it so this is how you can use ExpressVPN uh, if you're interested in ExpressVPN you'll find a link in the description down below that'll save you a little bit of cash as well as a full review and keep in mind that ExpressVPN does have a 30-day money-back guarantee so it's a risk-free process when it comes to trying out the VPN no matter which uh, plan you decide to go for they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee and also the live chat support is available right here at the bottom right if you have any questions so that'll be it for this video comment below if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity thank you guys very much for watching I'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day